Homelander is a true all-American hero. Or at least he pretends to be. Really, he's just an absolute psychopath. A truly unhinged lunatic who's just out for himself and isn't afraid at all to kill anybody and everybody in his way. But here's the catch. Homelander has never really gone up against anybody he can call his equal. And that's actually a big part of the show. Homelander has no true equal. At least, not yet. Because another unhinged lunatic is entering into the picture. Except just the really, really fun kind. Iron Man. So, who wins here? Homelander or Iron Man? Well, let's get into it. But before we get into it, well, if you think Homelander wins, hit the subscribe button. If you disagree, you think Iron Man takes it, well, be sure to turn on that notification bell. Now, let's get it. Let's talk about Iron Man. Let's talk about Tony. For starting out as just a genius in a cave with a box of scraps, Tony really did well for himself. He really kept on upping the ante and raising the bar to the point where he's able to take on literal gods and monsters and finally genocidal alien warlords and it's that last one i really want to focus in on the mark 50 iron man armor is completely made out of nanotech millions and millions of little nanobots which really allows tony so much versatility and creativity to the point where he could do almost anything he wants or can dream of. Well, maybe not that extreme, but it does allow him to create some pretty great weapons. He can form swords and shields, turn his arms into energy cannons, shoot out powerful energy blasts, or launch missile barrages, or even big old explosions. And all this is enough to make Thanos bleed. Just a little drop of blood though, but still, this was something that Hulk couldn't do. Thor wasn't able to do the first time around. It was Iron Man. And that's just his weapons and all that. Which does give him just a ton of versatility. But he's also pretty physically powerful. He's able to square off against Cole Obsidian. Stun him with some punches. A guy who can take on the Hulkbuster. And even knock around Thanos a little bit. I mean, not a ton. Not like an insane amount. But he did it. Where Iron Man might have everyone beat, though, is, surprisingly enough, durability. So I think he can definitely take the kind of punches that Homelander can dish out. Not just because he took an absolute beating from Thanos, but even Cole Obsidian. Cole launched Iron Man across part of New York and through buildings, and Iron Man wasn't taken out of the fight. Wasn't even really phased. Kind of looked like he was more just surprised about how he ended up several blocks over. But it's really just one feat in particular, the moon launch. So Thanos has had just about enough of these annoying little heroes. And so he decides he's just going to end it all right here. Winds up, grabs the power stone and the space stone, and proceeds to launch a full-on moon down on top of all of them. Iron Man is able to dip and weave through a lot of the debris, only to be smashed by one big meteor and crash down beneath the planet's surface. And then Friday is a really sneaky big advantage here in the fight too. It's one of those things that allows him to keep up at crazy speeds, because the AI can move the suit faster than Tony can of his own reactions. It helps Tony work through situations, it can analyze what is going on and what defenses are around something, and it can even help them analyze fight patterns and come up with counters for their skill. All that is pretty helpful if you ask me. Of course, you're going to need all that when you're going up against a guy like Homelander. So Homelander is the leader of the seven, puts on a show of being the world's greatest hero, but in reality, probably the world's greatest villain. At the very least, he's just not a good dude. And when I say that, more like a psychotic killer who's also the strongest person in the world with a major god complex. That leads us to the question, just how powerful is this god? Just how strong is Homelander? Well, like I literally just said, he is the strongest man in the world and has never met anyone 
who's been his direct physical equal. He's easily crushed skulls, punched into a man's stomach, hit blind spot with a discombobulate, and casually tossed a man hundreds of feet into the air. Homelander is easily thrown a baseball from New York to Boston, and since he is the strongest hero in the world, makes sense that he's stronger than Stormfront, who easily destroyed a building. Queen Maeve, who easily stopped a speeding truck, just brought it to a dead stop. And stronger than A-Train, who was able to pull a locomotive after having just broken his leg a short while before. And he is like, way stronger than them. Homelander was able to casually knock the door off of a pressurized plane, but he said that he was unable to carry the plane to safety, suggesting that he's unable to use his full strength in flight, requiring a solid surface in order to take the full advantage of his powers. This was also seen when he was unable to stop the weight of a falling bus and some concrete debris. Bottom line though, Homelander's pretty strong still. On the other hand, while durability is definitely Homelander's weakest asset. Not really because he's not durable, but just because he's never really had anything test his durability. He's bulletproof. It was unscathed by a bus and rubble crashing down on top of him, but the guy is obviously intended to be invincible. It was said that if Homelander ever turned against America or turned against Vought, they'd have no way to take him down. It's also said that there isn't a weapon on Earth they haven't thrown at him. They all failed. Obviously, this is including nukes. So just from those statements, Homelander is incredible. But that's all we've got. Statements. Pretty much no actual feats. And based on stuff like the bus, those statements might actually be pretty questionable. And another thing is, just like Homelander doesn't have a ton of durability feats, doesn't really have a ton of speed feats. I mean, he doesn't even really use his speed in a fight. That being said though, he is really pretty fast when he's just flying around. He's regularly flown at Mach speed, even reached up to Mach 5, which is looking like his top speed. Then the only thing left in Homelander's corner is his heat vision which he often resorts to using his lasers in a fight rather than physically fighting because he's never gone up against anyone who can actually survive his heat vision. And there have been plenty of times where he's casually sliced clean through flesh and bone. He sliced a private jet right in half, managed to give Stormfront third degree burns. Here's the only problem. For as impressive as all that stuff is, and for being the absolute psychopath that he is, I don't think it's enough to beat Iron Man. I mean, Iron Man is way stronger than Homelander just based on those feats. That's pretty much a given. And even though Homelander hits as hard as a tank, Iron Man was always able to take attacks like that. And now he can take so much more. Magical lightning from Thor, Beatings from Thanos, even Blast from the Power Stone. Good luck trying to slice and dice with your heat vision, Homelander. It's not getting through Iron Man's suit. And even though they said that they threw every weapon on Earth against Homelander and it all failed, he still hasn't run into some of the stuff that Iron Man is packing. I mean, we're talking about a literal super genius way beyond the capabilities of anybody Homelander has ever encountered, and he's armed with unlimited resources in a suit that can go up against an alien god. I'm betting that Iron Man has something in there that can take Homelander down. Iron Man wins. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're gonna have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you want to go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're going to see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.